Hello and welcome to another video from AA Rail. This video is uh, part two of our motor rail series and so in this video we're going to show you how to replace the uh, railroad um, labeling that's on the side of the Hornbeat car transporter into a more prototypical uh, motor rail um, logo. So what we're going to use today is we're going to use the new um, AA Rail printable kit number five which is uh, BOR motor rail signs now this is actually a prototype of the uh, final product you can see there I've already cut out uh, two of the motor rail signs um, but it'll come with a whole bunch and then I also have the motor rail terminal uh, one done as well and uh, there's a big space there and that's because we're going to be doing uh, some of the signs and other things as well so I'll get those done over the next couple of days and then we'll put this out on the new website um, hopefully sometime in the next uh, week or two before the end of the month. Alright, so to do this project it's pretty simple. You download the printable kit, print it out and uh, you cut out the bits you need. Uh, what I've done is I've cut it out a little bit there. You can see it's got kind of like a black uh, sort of outline so I'm going to use the scissors to cut out the rest of it so the black outline is not there and then what we're going to do I'm actually going to use glue um, we're going to use uh, white paint, so I've got some uh, testers, white enamel paint, and a paintbrush. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to paint the or get rid of the motor or the get rid of the railroad sign um, with the paint, because you can see there the railroad sign is kind of uh, red and yellow, and even with fairly thick uh, brochure paper, it's going to um, kind of shine through a little bit because it's a darker color. So basically by painting it white first, um, we kind of almost primer it um, for, the, um, for the label. And then the other cool thing is you don't actually have to use glue because if you apply it when it's wet, um, you don't have to worry about it. It'll actually uh, go through okay. And we're also going to go and paint the top here white. Uh, we're going to weather it later on, uh, but I want to paint it white to try to get rid of that gap. And uh, the only thing I'd recommend is make sure you put these in the final position you want them in before you start painting because sometimes if the paint is a little thin or this gap is a little wider um, that paint will go down and then it will kind of, kind of stick it in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera off to the side a little bit and uh, show you how to do this. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take the scissors and hopefully I don't wander uh, too far off camera uh, but basically you're going to want to cut just a fraction of a millimeter um, to the inside of the line and then just cut it as straight as you possibly can helps not to be uh, have drunk anything heavy um, before you do that so turned out pretty okay and then just flick it around and do it on the other side again just on the inside and with the scissors, just try to keep it as straight as possible. Like so. And then you can look at it up close and trim off anything that you want. Um, looks pretty okay to me. Uh, it's a little bit black down the end, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, so, next step is just to paint it. And so, it's pretty simple. Take your paintbrush and your paint, and you're just going to. Uh, paint this. Now you don't want to use a lot of paint so uh, sort of uh, brush it off on the edge there and then kind of start in the middle and kind of get it a little closer to the edge like that that way you're not um, going over the edge too much and you don't want to use a lot of paint just want enough to cover it and make it sticky so that you have something to apply um, the label too. And we just used uh, standard printer paper, we didn't use anything special, so um, I used US Legal, since here in the States it's hard to get hold of uh, A4 paper, uh, but US Legal is just a little bit bigger than A4, so it works out pretty well. And you just want to make sure you get all the bits covered, so looks pretty good. Now you will see I've gone over the top a little bit here, and like I said, I'm going to weather the top 
so I'm going to go ahead and paint this white even though I'm not 100% sure it really was white um, but I don't have to use a ton of paint to do this just uh, one dab of the paintbrush should do it I might need to, I should be right alright so you can see there it's uh, already starting to dry a little bit so next thing to do is to uh, put the label on now the easiest way to put the label on is oh, I already have two of them out. Is to take uh, two cocktail sticks or toothpicks, and then you're going to use this to position the, the label in place. So I'm going to take the label. And very oops, sorry. Going to very carefully try to line it up as close to the edge as I possibly can. And this is uh, reasonably tricky. And then what you want to do is, like I said, take the two toothpicks and use that to the paint because the paint's fairly wet. It's going to make it easier to move that label around. That's a little tricky because the thing moves, but once you're happy with it, just simply take that and run it along like so and you have now a fancy looking motor rail symbol alright so I'm gonna let that dry and then uh, when it's dry we'll throw some weathering powders over it and it'll be uh, good to go so um, I'm gonna flick it over to the other side again and uh, let's just look closer to each other and I'll zoom the camera in so you can get a better look now that motor rail one in the background is actually an original Lima one. Um, I didn't actually use that as a guide. Um, what I did was I used uh, photographs and then I uh, estimated the size based on the distances and so on from the photographs. I was also able to find um, some diagrams from British Rail and some old documents and they gave me some pretty realistic measurements as well so I was able to get it uh, pretty accurate. Alright, well that's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and until next time.